was really great to be here. To visit this country for a week was a really thrilling experience for us all. The Chinese adventure has begun. Hamburg are on their way to the land of the dragon. A week of new experiences and intriguing culture. They'll also be pushing themselves to the limit with a week of training and two matches in tropical heat. And it all started with a 12-hour charter flight. Just got on the plane, waiting to go. After a stopover in the Kazakh capital Astana, the Hamburg plane landed on time in the city of Guangzhou. 9,000 kilometers from home. It was then off to the hotel in Foshan for the first chance of a short rest, because in the evening it was the first training session of the program. It would be here, in the middle of 12 million inhabitants of the sprawling metropolis of Guangzhou, that Hamburg would face their first opponents, Guangzhou Evergrande and the Tian Stadium. It was a long journey, but we've got the first training session behind us now and we really worked up a sweat. The humidity is really high. We'll be ready for tomorrow despite that. The team were in high spirits on the way back to the hotel, despite the hustle, bustle and heat. Rest was the order of the day from fitness coach Nikola Vidovic before the next morning's training session in the gym. The evening of the second day presented the first stern test on the pitch. But first, HSV were warmly welcomed by the local crowd. Hamburg faced quality opponent Guangzhou Evergrande, Asian Champions League winners, a team that faced Bayern Munich in the Club World Cup last December. A real challenge for the visitors. The Hamburg players had something special for the spectators. They wore shirts with the players' names in Chinese. Perfect ambassadors for the German game. And something that raised excitement even further in the crowd. On the pitch, it was the Chinese side who particularly impressed. The travel-weary Hamburg team struggled in the 35-degree heat and 80% humidity. At the final whistle, Evergrande, trained by Marcello Lippi, the 6-2 winners over HSV. It's the whole thing, the flight yesterday and the game today. Nevertheless, we've got to deal with the situation a bit smarter. We had a lot of young players on the pitch in the second half, but that's really no excuse. The game was a lot different than it may have appeared. Also in the first half, it was 2-1 and we gifted them the first two goals, and we know that. And 6-2 end result, well that's just not good. But that didn't dampen the mood for these Chinese kids. The next day, Hamburg paid a visit to the Forshan International School and received a stunning reception from around 300 children. I didn't really expect this, and I don't think the others did either. The people here are really warm-hearted, lovely, and have been great to us. I've never been to China before, so it's a great experience to be here. But most important is, of course, our preparation. The visit provided an unforgettable afternoon for the children and the Hamburg players alike, and the players made sure they didn't leave without leaving a few mementos of the day.
Hey, Michael, come in. Welcome to my crib in China. <laughs> this is the hot tube. Yeah, I'm laying my relaxing night with my friend Johannes. There's <laughs> a toilet. So now you can see, fans, what's going on in the crib. And here's my friend Johannes. Relaxing between the <laughs> training. That's my shit. Sorry for the mess. Sorry, mom. To end the trip to China, Hamburg faced their second Chinese opponents on their travels. First division side Guangzhou R and F. After an intensive six days of training and games. The Hamburg players were better acclimatized and came away with not only a win in the heat, but a positive performance to go with it. <laughs> At full time, the visitors came away with a 3-2 win over a team coached by Sven Joran Eriksson. We learnt a lot from the first game about the climate here. I think we gave a good account of ourselves and at the end we could have perhaps won by a higher margin. But most importantly, we've left the pitch as winners. Also important is to keep the body in good shape with the right nutrition. It's always the aim in pre-season to push the team to their limit or sometimes beyond it. And with the temperature and the humidity here, you can really push the players and their bodies to those boundaries. It's also important to recover. So Hamburg coach Mirko Slomka ordered the final training of the trip to take place in the pool. all before heading out for a little sightseeing. This week in China has really brought us together despite the fact it was so intensive and exhausting. And for the boys, it was physically exhausting. We've all had fun and there were some great moments, sometimes thrilling moments, but also intriguing moments. But after a week, it's time to say goodbye. A week of unforgettable experiences for the Hamburg players and staff.